Well, it was really an eye-opening experience to see combat firsthand, and that's what gave me the inspiration to try to see if I could take what I'd seen, fictionalize it, and tell it in the much larger format of, of a film. Because as many people as read a magazine article, obviously, there are millions more that could potentially see a movie. And so that was really an exciting creative journey to see how I could, um, if I could do that and to transpose that story onto film. You know, winning, obviously winning the Academy Award is a, is a great thing and a, and a tremendous honor. And, um, it, but unfortunately the work is still the same. You still have to go every day and face the blank page. That doesn't change. But um, it's really been a tremendous honor. It's an incredible workshop today. You know him as the writer and producer, won a couple Oscars for The Hurt Locker. Please give a big round of applause for Mark Ohl. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, truly a pleasure to be here. And I have to say, judging uh, by the great work that I've seen so far, I think the future for the next generation of filmmakers is very bright indeed. I'm here to present the Golden Tripod Award for Best Story. Okay, and the winner is for the Golden Tripod Award for Best Story, a short by Seth and Daniel from California State University. Congratulations, guys. One of the things that I was raised on, let's say, was uh, profile writing. Um, and in a profile, you're writing about a real person. And, um, <clears throat> you know, they, uh, unless you're extraordinarily lucky, but usually you're hanging out with somebody for four days or three days or a couple months or whatever it is, you're not going to see them have some transformative event that actually feels like a character arc. So what you end up doing is creating like a portrait where you show one side and the other side, but they're basically the same person at the beginning of the article as they are at the end of the article. And um, so that was kind of the model that I took for this. And James, as the main character, um, doesn't actually really change. It's the arc, at least my intention was, that the arc would occur in the audience, that your impression of him would change as the film sort of unfurls. And so you have one, first you think he's one way, then you think he's another, and gradually those, those um, judgments kind of start piling up onto each other and hopefully in a, a way that feels sort of unusual and dramatic.